What's going on YouTube? It's the life of Jimmer and I wanted to show you guys an update on the $100,000 options trading portfolio. Hopefully you guys made it through today and you still are treading the water with me, but I'm going to run it down with you guys and show you what happened today. So today I was down $9,000. And if you guys look at this, you guys are probably like, damn, yo, look at Jimmy. He just got clapped. But if you look at it in the long run, a lot of the, uh, a lot of my equity and a lot of the stuff I have is Tesla and Tesla longs. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Tesla was down super big. It was down 4.39%. And that's about $18. So I'm not too worried. I have 72 shares. My, my contract that's going to expire expires in March of next year. And the one after that it expires in 2022. So we have a ton of time. I'm not too worried about it. And if you guys want to see it, it bounced off the bottom of my pennant. So if we go to Tesla right here on the daily. I have a pennant drawn right here. It bounced right off the bottom. So if it goes lower than this, I'll be pretty worried. I mean, I'll probably add more shares if we, if we go into this area around here or under 400. I'm definitely going to be adding more shares. I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm not worried. I'm going to just let it ride. I have so much time, way more time, even goes past the election, goes past December. We're, we're good to go. Don't worry about Tesla, guys. If we go back to the Robin Hood. We can see how the port went. We we're down 3% overall on the overall market. Everything was down. We we're bloody red and losing 9K for me. Uh, I'm, I'm not too worried. We, we've been in this position before. So you, got, you guys don't have to worry about it. Uh, so for my plays today, here's what I have. I cut a bunch of my XLU at the top. If you guys can't tell, I'm at 16 now. I think yesterday we were at 27. So if you guys are wondering what, what I did with the XLUs, I rolled it into snow, baby. Snow it's where it's at right now, man. So if we look at the four hour on snow, it closed great. Let's look at this. Look at this guys, beautiful. Closed right above here. Closed at 272.44. And shout out to my boy Irving, he told me on the two day. Look at this, it's forming a broken half glizzy. It's looking like glizzy right here. So it looks super great. We can look at the 30 minute too, if you're trading it intraday. Looks great, man. Bounced off 268.88. We got, we're, we're, we're gonna move tomorrow. If tomorrow's green, we're good. Let's see. Also on the four hour right here, looks like it's about to curl. And if you guys are curious about the contracts and how much I average down at, we can look at snow. This is the position. Look at this, this is beautiful, man. Total equity, $9,730. Our average is 8.94. And the current price is 13.90 contract. This shit's going to be booming. We have, or are totally up 55% on seven contracts. Man, this stuff is going to be at least 3K a contract if we hit 300. So if you guys are worried about SPY, uh, here's the level for it. We can look at the one day for SPY. And over here, we bounce right off the bottom. So if we go below this, I'll be super worried on the next daily candle. But for now, I think it's okay. I really think we're gonna be looking at the next up and coming tech earnings, like Mike, uh, not Microsoft, I'm Apple and Amazon. Those are gonna be the next catalysts. We have no idea or no reason why a company like Microsoft had such a great earnings and still got clapped $8 today. That doesn't make sense to anyone. And maybe it's just the market not liking tech anymore or tech might be exhausted. But we'll really see the true true deal of it when Apple reports and Amazon reports tomorrow. So that's going to be the catalyst for SPY and this. So if those don't show up well or show up tomorrow, we might get clapped. So you, you got to get ready to hold, especially with the upcoming uh, election coming up. But that's those were my plays today. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.